going on guys mr. Domo here back again and today I got the Hasbro Star Wars the black series Clone Wars art trooper echo and of course this is part of the 50th anniversary celebration of lucas films man and of course paying homage to the three and three quarter inch clone wars figures man i absolutely love this card back as you can see right here absolutely gorgeous i picked up another one man just so i could send it off to collector archive services for grading but uh if you guys are looking for this wave definitely it's hitting up target stores i was uh you know out at about uh at some target stores one of them which is kind of interesting is going to be waiting until Father's Day to release the whole set uh, and then the other ones they had a bunch of uh, you know they just they just had a bunch of cases of just echo and so it's kind of interesting so I'm hoping that uh, they said tomorrow you know they should be getting the rest of the figures I did pick him up and then of course I do have the uh, you know clone pilot Hawk right here which I'll do a review uh, probably later on and but I, I wanted to do uh, Art Trooper Echo just because he's got so much going on but here is the car back absolutely gorgeous uh, really beautiful you got the 50th anniversary right there you got the uh, nice picture of the Art Trooper and uh, Echo really really nice back here you got the timeline of course the Clone Wars debuted in back in 2008 so uh, there he is man really really gorgeous man like I said if he if, if you're looking for it definitely start hitting up your target stores man because they are taking them out and on the shelves man so really really awesome so let's go ahead man let's bust this guy out of the car back so we can check out this action figure man so straight out of the car back man there he is the art trooper echo looking really badass man uh lots of details right here as you can see man this thing looks absolutely gorgeous as you can see right there he's got his backpack uh you do have the dual holsters for his both his uh pistols right there uh he is holding his uh rifle and then of course he's got uh this long ass rifle right here looking really badass um, lots of details and everything onto this mode right here and he holds the weapon pretty damn well as you can see right here he is holding uh, the rifle and it is really damn nice man I love the uh, the ammo pouches and everything like that the body scope looks absolutely gorgeous the paint man I'm not seeing any errors whatsoever on this actual figure lots of articulation uh, especially on the helmet right there let me pull out the helmet here and I'll show you the face in a minute, but here is the helmet man looking pretty damn sweet. Uh, this right here, the range fire, uh, range finder, excuse me, does articulate up and down, so uh, that is pretty nice right there. There is the front man looking pretty damn sweet. Lots of details, paint is pretty good, man. I'm not seeing any errors or anything like that. Fits really nice onto him, and uh, really you just see a little bit of his uh, of his chin, but if you if you adjust it a little bit, then you you can pretty much uh, get that covered up. So overall, it looks pretty damn good. Uh, and then of course, you know, with his uh, helmet on, he could definitely uh, he's you know it, it doesn't really hinder his moving looking uh you know side to side or anything like that he could definitely look down he could look up but like i said uh it is going to expose that chin right there just slightly uh but not too much so the helmet done really nice now the face scope right here let me show you that look at that man that is absolutely gorgeous man really nicely done uh this is oh man this is a really good one man really really good does got a little bit of shine and everything like that but of course that's mostly uh it, it really it's probably because due to my lights and everything like that that you really see it uh articulation up here on the head is pretty nice obviously you could get a nice swivel there looking up not really too much but definitely he could look down and everything like that so really really good uh like i said man he's got his rifle right here take that off he does hold it pretty damn well so uh not an issue right here here is the rifle right there so really nice good details everything like that one solid color and then of course he has the dual pistols which uh, seat really nicely onto uh, the holsters right here so uh, they're pretty much the same pistols as you can see right here here's one of them and here's the other one so really really nice he does have uh, pretty much the two trigger fingers on both hands so if you wanted to have them put both of the uh, actual pistols then it's not an issue you know what i'm saying so as you can see right here pretty good 
uh, pretty, 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 pretty nice, actually. So, actually, you know what? He does have one more. He, he, so, this hand right here, he actually has the trigger finger a little bit more separated there. Not really here, as you can see. Uh, so, this one's a little bit better for him holding his uh, his rifle or his pistol or his rifle. But uh, this is going to be really the hand that you want. But he could actually hold it. Not a problem. And they're not loose. As you can see right there, I could shake it up. And he still has a good grip on him. So, that is pretty nice. Uh, overall, let me show you around his actual uh uniform here which is really done nicely as you can see man you got the nice handprint right there on the front uh lots of details around his belt you got the blue stripes and everything like that looks pretty damn good there's some coloring right there onto his wrist really good man really nicely done uh, this is a soft plastic right here as you can see so that's going to be good it won't hinder your movement with the legs or anything like that and then, of course you got these uh little straps right here for uh the holsters and then you have like these pockets right here man but overall really nicely done figure right there so the articulation like i said with the head is pretty good right you do have uh these pads right here but they're not really going to hinder your movement uh with the shoulders as you can see right there you have that nice ball joint so you bring the arms close spread them out uh, you do have one joint at the uh, elbow right here uh, you can go past 90 as you can see right there and then you have like this little uh, elbow pad right there but that's not really going to hinder your movement that much uh, and then of course at the elbow you do have a nice rotation right here at the hands again you have a nice rotation and then of course you have a little joint right there so you have that nice uh, tilt joint right at the wrist so that's pretty sweet at the waist is pretty good he's got some nice rotation there you definitely are arches back and he could definitely uh, bend down uh, let me show you the back here too because there's a lot of good details right here onto his little backpack and everything like that this I try to take it off but it looks like it's it's pretty good on there I mean maybe I could force it out I don't know man I, I, I don't know if it's like really kind of you know glued in there or, or whatnot so I'm not really gonna mess with that uh, too much he does have a nice ball joint at the leg so you do gonna have some good movements right there so that's pretty good I think he does have yep he's so he does have a upper thigh rotation which is pretty good he is rocking uh i want to say the dual knee joints uh let me see maybe he's not it looks like nope nope so he doesn't have the dual knee joints he's actually rocking one knee joint uh right there so uh, that's pretty much what you're gonna get right there just at 90 degrees and then of course uh he does have a nice rotation at the knee and then of course at the ankle uh he has that hill that little uh foot tilt excuse me and then i believe he should have a rotation and it doesn't look like he does so no rotation actually at the ankles it's on a little ball joint so you you have some some movement right here and then of course a hip a uh, little tilt but doesn't really rotate too well uh so you just kind of pivot you know off to the side if you wanted to so articulation is not too bad you know what i'm saying pretty damn good uh overall i would say that the scope on this guy right here the body scope and definitely the face is really done nicely man weapons are pretty good he could hold them both uh he could definitely hold this rifle right here which is pretty nice so he holds them pretty damn good not a problem at all doesn't you know it's not loose or anything like that so he does have a good uh a good a good grip on him to his weapons or anything like that but the face man is absolutely done really nice as you can see right there body the body paint and everything like that is absolutely gorgeous so really love it man i think this is a great figure i love the packaging so like i said man i definitely picked up another one so i could have it graded and the helmet man look at that that looks absolutely gorgeous man so absolutely gorgeous figure man i'm, I'm no complaints on this one man uh like i said really good absolutely gorgeous figure man and uh like i said man that this thing is starting to hit up target so i would definitely start hitting up your target uh like i said they retail for 24.99 so i think the price did definitely go up on these guys but uh that is it man there he is art trooper echo man so let me know what you guys think are you guys picking one up do you have one already uh and i, I know the scalper prices are ridiculous i think they're going for like 60 to 70 dollars which is so stupid man but uh there he is man so let let me know in the comments below thanks for watching thank you for the support and i will definitely talk to you guys in the next video